Hey, it's Dave from CG Shortcuts. Today, we're going to do this. We're going to create diamonds in Cinema 4D. And as a little bonus, I'm going to show you how to make it rain a little bit of bling. So, there's already quite a few tutorials online showing how to model diamonds. But I'm going to show you a little trick that makes it way faster. We're going to start nice and easy. If we come up here, we can add in a cone. We want to be able to see the edges of our geometry. So let's go up to the display settings and click on the Gorge shading lines. There's a lot of weird words, but that should give us what we need to start modeling. Let's flip this cone on the negative Y orientation. Let's bring the rotation segments down to eight and the height segments down to one. And then we'll shorten it a little bit and make it 150 centimeters high. Right, over in the caps tab, we want to get rid of all these cap segments. So let's bring that down to one as well. All right, the base of our diamond is starting to take shape. Let's start modeling the top bit. We'll click on polygon faces and the live selection tool, making sure we have only select visible elements ticked so we don't select anything we don't want. Now we can come up here and click and drag across the surface to select all the faces we need. Then we just need to right click and come down to extrude. Now we just need to click anywhere in the space outside our shape and that should start extruding that surface up. We'll do one little one and then release and click and drag again for a bigger one. While we've got those selected, we'll come up here and grab the scale tool and clicking and dragging outside our shape again, we can scale them into there. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. We can always come back later and tweak it if we need to. All right, it's starting to look a bit more diamondish now. Let's have a quick look at our reference image. Okay, to give it that diamondy look, we need to add these little diamondy shapes around here and down here. And if you've ever tried to model something like that, you know it can be a bit of a pain. But lucky for you, I have a little secret that'll let you do it in pretty much just one click. All we have to do is switch over to edge mode and grab our rectangle selection, making sure that only select visible elements is ticked off this time. If we middle mouse click and go down here and middle mouse into our front view, we'll select these edges and these guys down here middle mouse click back into our perspective view and here's our little trick all we have to do is right click and select edge cut we'll turn off create endgons and if we now click on any of our selected edges it'll do all the work for us so all we have to do is tidy it up a bit and we're good to go and we're not even three minutes into this tutorial let's zoom in here grab our rectangle selection and switch it over to point mode we need to grab some of these points, but make sure only select visible elements is checked. We'll grab all these guys super fast and middle mouse click into our top view. We'll hit the scale button and drag these guys in to make a bit of a circle. Then if we switch back to polygon mode and grab our live selection, we can zoom in, making sure our only select visible elements is back on again. Let's select all of these new triangles that we've made. Then we'll right click and choose melt and that should merge them together nicely, giving us these nice triangles. Right, we'll jump back into the top view and we'll grab every second point around our diamond. Let's scale them up as well to make another circle. And while we've got those selected, let's pinch those in just on the Y axis this time. And it's definitely starting to take shape. I think our diamond might be a little bit too long, so we'll grab these guys and move them up there and we'll grab this guy and put him right there. Okay, those proportions look a bit better. Now is probably a good time to sharpen these faces a bit. If we come up to our Fong tag and bring that down to zero, you can see everything's looking a lot sharper. I think I'll just make the shapes on the top a little bit more even. If we pop back into our top view and grab these guys, we'll scale them in and just bring them up a little bit. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's just get rid of some of these extra points. We'll grab all these ones that don't connect to anything and right click and hit dissolve. Then we'll right click again and go down to line cut. We can just draw those edges in again, nice and clean. We'll hit enter and we're pretty much done. Let's have a quick look how it renders and you can see all the edges are nice and sharp there. One thing I like to do after modeling anything is optimize the mesh. We'll just switch back to point mode, control A to select all of the points and right click and down where it says optimize, we wanna hit this little icon here. 
which will give us our options. Tolerance at 0.01 should be fine, and that'll just get rid of all the extra stray points. So you have a nice clean mesh to work with. One extra little step you could do is bevel some of these edges so it looks a little bit more realistic. Just select all of the edges and then holding control you can get rid of these ones. So we're just left with the edges we want to bevel. We'll just right click, choose bevel and click and drag the amount you want. Just the tiniest bit should do it. And that's about it for our diamond. Let's give it a quick render. You can see those beveled edges catch a little bit more light and make it look a little bit more realistic. Okay, I'll quickly show you how to make something like this with the diamond you've just created. We'll start by throwing a camera in and we'll make that active. Then we'll just zero out all the coordinates and zoom back a bit in the Z axis. For this example, we'll set the scene to 1920 by 1080 and 24 frames a second. And just make sure our playback is 24 frames a second as well. Let's extend the timeline out to 400 frames and we'll click on our diamond cone and while holding alt we'll add a MoGraph cloner. So that should become the parent and start affecting our diamond. Down in the object tab we'll change the mode to honeycomb array which already looks pretty cool. Let's zoom out a little bit and we'll click back on our cloner and add a random effector. Under parameter let's turn on scale and uniform and we'll drop that down to 0.1 Let's turn on rotation and put some random numbers in here. So now we have a bit of variation. Now let's grab our cloner again and we'll move it up in the Y axis and set a keyframe. Then we'll zoom to the end of our timeline and bring that down out of frame and set another keyframe. So that's making everything come down. Let's open our animation curves and set the keyframes to linear. That'll get rid of the easing in and out so they should drop nice and steady. We want them all to rotate in the y-axis as they fall down. So let's add a plane effector on top of our random effector. Let's turn off position and we'll go back to the start of our timeline and add a keyframe at zero in the pitch. But you can see if we come forward and try to animate that, they all rotate on their own axes, which we don't really want. But we can fix that by setting the transform space to object and now you can see they all rotate in the Y axis. So let's go to the end of our timeline and set another keyframe in the pitch for something around the 200 degrees mark. Again, we don't want any easing, so let's change those curves to linear. And if we play that back, we get something like this. So I'll just make one last little tweak. Let's go into our random effector and we'll adjust the Z axis so we've got a bit of depth. And there you go, we're all done. Just throw on a nice glass material, a few lights, and it should be looking pretty slick. As usual, you can download the project file down below to save a bit of time. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section below, or you can leave a like or dislike. And don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell icon for more videos and free stuff. Catch you next time.